Why is there a freaking hair on my shoe? Hmm? Gross. <laughs>good our squad welcome back to our sneakers i know i already made this video before but i made it like last year when my videos were trash and now they're like phenomenal so i figured i might as well make this video all over again and on top of that i got deleted so it's not even on my channel anymore so anyways you know what i'm just gonna tell you guys the five sneakers you guys should own if you're a guy a man a kid doesn't matter whatever age you are you should own these five pairs of shoes and to start off number one is the beater you most likely already have this shoe i feel like everybody has this one pair of shoes that they don't really care about they just trash them they use them for every single occasion and unfortunately i used to be very scared to wear my shoes like i would always be so careful with them i never wanted to mess them up but then i had these shoes and i figured they were like general release even though you can't really find them in stores anymore i just decided to make this shoe my beater because i needed a pair and i needed a comfortable pair and i was fortunate enough to make a freaking ultra boost my beater i know it's expensive shoe to make a beater but it could be any shoe but for me i need these shoes for like concerts for like parties and just anytime i go to do something crazy i know the shoes gonna get dirty and i chose this one in particular like i said because it's comfortable and also because it's black i know the boost is white but it's black on the upper and that means it's not gonna get dirty i mean it will get dirty but you won't see it as much as if it were a white shoe or a gray shoe or red shoe or any other color shoe that isn't black when i know i'm gonna get my feet stepped on these are my go-to's. On the contrary to the beaters, of course you gotta have your number two shoes, which is your heaters. And not everybody has to have a pair of Yeezys as a heater. It can be like really just any nice expensive shoe. It doesn't have to be a Yeezy. It could be maybe something in between. Maybe like, let's see what's behind my wall here. Like a little heater, I guess we would say, would be like these triple black ultra boosts. These are a good, decent heaters right here. But for me, I mean, I just chose this one for the video. And if you want to go a little bit up more in price, you can go to these, which is the Ultra Boost. But these are the, what, cream color was it, the Chucks? I don't know. There were so many names for them when they came out. But yeah, these are a little bit more expensive than the black ones, the triple blacks. And of course, you can go up to the Yeezys. You can go, you can have some NMDs in between. This is more if you're a sneakerhead. I feel like every sneakerhead should have their one pair of heaters. Because, you know, if you are a sneakerhead, you don't have to have them. But it really just adds to your collection. Number three is your gym shoe. Now, I understand that not everybody works out. Not everybody goes to the gym. Not everybody runs. Not everybody exercises. But it's always good to have that gym shoe. Why is there a freaking hair on my shoe? Gross. Even if you don't go to the gym, you should always have that gym shoe. You never know when you're gonna need this. Let's say you go around the mall and you wanna have like that nice shoe, but the mall is uncomfortable when you wear uncomfortable shoes. Like your back's gonna start hurting. Well, for me, my back starts hurting when I walk for a long time. Your feet are gonna start hurting. It's gonna be uncomfortable. So you wanna have that comfortable shoe, which is your gym shoe, even though you're not even gonna use it only for the gym. You'd probably use it for the mall too, for the gym, for long distance walks, any of that. So instead of calling this a gym shoe, I guess you can call it also the comfortable shoe, which is a shoe that not only every guy should have, but it's a shoe that everybody should have it. next up on the list is number four and this shoe is the dress shoe and some of you sneakerheads right now i know this channel is mostly full of sneakerheads you guys are probably like i don't own a pair of those i don't need those yes you do you never know when you're gonna have an occasion that you're gonna need these shoes there could be a wedding there could be a quince there could be a sweet 16 there could be a really nice dinner you're going to whatever the case may be you're gonna need these pairs of shoes one time in your life. And the shoe that I went for this one is an Aldo. It's not that expensive shoe. Like, don't think I got anything crazy. These are pretty nice. For the prices that you can get these shoes at, they are a little expensive. I got them at like 125. I mean, for me, like the prices of the shoes that I buy at, that's not expensive, but like for the average consumer, it might be a little more expensive because people just usually like to pay at most $80 for a pair of shoes. But I know that my friend went to Perry Ellis and he got a black pair for $40 and it looks just like this, but except it's all black. And you guys can probably do the same. You really don't need to break the bank on this shoe because it's not gonna be a shoe you're gonna be wearing all the time. So you can go cheap on it, but since I'm a sneakerhead, I'm a collector. I went and got a little bit more high end than Perry Ellis and I went to Aldo and the shoe did cost me a little bit more, but that's fine with me. And last but not least, you do have number five and that is your classy shoe i know this is kind of like your dress shoe but <laughs> that text i just got dope anyways where was i i was saying that this is not your dress shoe this is your very nice classy shoes like let's say not for a wedding this, i don't think these are appropriate for a wedding unless you rock them very nicely you rock them the correct way you can wear these to prom you can wear these to a nice dinner you can wear these to the club but these aren't your dress shoes for a reason because let's say you want to go to the club and you don't want to mess up dress shoes or sometimes dress shoes are not appropriate for them but you still want to look classy these loafers right here are very nice these are calvin klein they cost me 60 dollars because you know my boy hooked it up that works there shout out to you can't really say your name that's the plug for the calvin klein shoes unfortunately these are not comfortable so these are not the shoes meant to walk around the mall in 
But if you really want to stunt and look very classy in the mall or wherever it is when you go out to dinner, then go ahead and wear these shoes. But let me warn you, these are not comfortable. They just look very nice and classy. And that pretty much wraps up the five shoes that every guy should own. There is actually one more bonus one, which I'm just gonna throw in there because everybody has them. So why not just throw it in here anyways? I know these aren't shoes, but they are the slides. You must have these. Well, even if you don't not must have them, you already probably do have them because every who doesn't own a pair of sandals to go to the beach? Who doesn't own a pair to walk around the house in to do little chores here and there? And yeah, I know I don't own Gucci flip flops and for a sneakerhead it's kind of weird that I don't. I thought about buying them, but I don't really care about slides that much. Like these shoes I just beat up. I was thinking about having some Gucci's just to walk around the house. I'll probably buy Gucci flip flops when I go to my apartment so I can just have them to walk around in there. Anyways guys, that pretty much wraps up the whole video. If you did enjoy this video, if you did like it, Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We finally hit 800 today, I think, I'm or yesterday when I was sleeping. I don't know. We hit 800, though. And for you loyal viewers, you guys know that I'm trying to get to 1,000. So when we get 1,000, all we got to do is take off. Say I'm left out bad mood. Anyways, guys, before I go, I do got to give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is coming up. It's actually loading right now. Hold up. Let me just go to the video. Go all the way down. And today's fan of the day goes to... Xerthius. This guy right here is super loyal. He's been riding with our squad since the old R sneakers when we had 25k. So big shout out to this guy and congrats on entering the giveaway for this month. If you guys do want to go ahead and enter that giveaway, all you got to do is subscribe to this channel, turn your notifications on, become fan of the day by commenting notification squad on the latest video. And if you happen to be one of the first people that comment that in the next video, you will be fan of the day. Anyways, guys, make sure you stay woke. It's your boy, I think you're signing out.